AI isn't just an intern or an assistant anymore. It is able to do tasks independently. And guess what? That is the central theme in this year's Gartner's Data and Analytics Summit of 2025. However, there's a very important point that a lot of the people overlook. And that is, it's not all about better models. It's about better data. IBM is a premium sponsor of this event by Gartner and their message is loud and clear. They have clearly saying that AI is no more an experiment, it's actually business critical. So let's go check out and talk to a few of them and also see what they're up to. The interesting part about agentic AI as it became a more center stage, people started to thaw, start thinking that if I have now agents taking decisions for me and they're doing work for me, then my risk of execution is higher. And hence, I started to see conversations around governance now mm. coming in, saying that how will I govern an agent? How do you see Watson X kind of improving the organizational productivity overall? Or AI agents for that matter? Uh, the, the, the perfect example for that is what we do in IZM itself. Mm -hmm. A lot of the streams that we used to run, whether it's HR, procurement, even sales, uh, today are all run through agents. Now, the reason that, that is very, very powerful is because earlier every seller who had to come in need to know how do they go in and create an opportunity, who do they tag, how do they progress through that opportunity. A lot of times then what happens, a lot of their time is lost in going in and updating the system, yeah. whether at, at the same time not being able to spend enough time with clients. So people are asking, oh, they've been doing a lot of use cases on agentic AI, but he was then pilots then after that what? post in the board, right? It's just like that. So I think the key thing missing in this entire funnel session is that there is no alignment with the business in this overall strategy of the organization. So what happens is when every department as an from an enthusiasm point of view, right? Okay, agent A case today, I, I want to try out something to show that okay, something is working. You try that and then you do, right? Once that is done. Okay, project is over, something is presented, then nobody knows what needs to be done with that, right? So when you say governance, right, like, uh, please define that for me. So I'll put governance into the three buckets, hmm. okay? One is a pure play governing your inventory of models and uses. The second pillar of this is actually the risk of management of your output, yeah. if you put it that way, right? And interestingly, if you see, IBM actually came out with what we call risk atlas. Okay. The last one is a compliance. Mm. Okay. That compliance is more around process compliance or a particular industry compliance. So we provide the tooling mm. for you to really test the compliance of your model and your use cases to say that have they passed all the checks, first of all as a process, and then to assure automatically because it's a humongous task if you are bit on them at scale. So today all that they're focused is having those conversations. They come back and feed this information. There is an RFP or a uh, or a, a proposal that is automatically created. Now that's one of the uh, problems that IBM sales team came back to us and said, look, while X does really great proposals, Y is not able to do it. So we said, no, we give the same set of agents to everybody. So it's like having that one toolkit or a Swiss Army knife which everybody has, and that gives everybody the same set of tools and being product. What is what according to you is the biggest uh, agentic win IBM or anyone else has had, which will make anyone watching this video feel that boss, you have to double down on. Yeah, okay, fine. Come on, we have implemented for ourselves. Uh, I know the HR, I know the sales, yeah. I know the procurement. I guess everything yeah. else. Right. So we have done it for one of the largest pharmaceutical company, and okay. they, uh, it's also there in the L rings, right? Where they have implemented this technology for managing the regulatory uh, reportings. Okay. Because when they come out with a new pharmaceutical yeah. form loss and all those kind of stuff, so they have to give a lot of documentation to the regulator, oh, right? Uh, what kind of research you have done, what are the research results, say all the journals that you created, right? So much of document they have to do. The particular process takes eight months time to complete, start to finish. This for the approvals of the new drug. Approvals, right? And they have to talk to multiple departments, multiple agencies to get the data collated validated. So here what we have done, we have created this HNDK solution, which we have got skills in different domains. This can understand the particular, uh, let's say, research areas, let me get follow formulations, right? So all those things forms part of the process, okay? Those skills are built and integrated, an agency system was implemented, 
and now today we are able to do it in almost 2 months time so from 8 months 8 months we reduce it to 2 months 4x efficient 4x efficient and i was having a conversation with client and he said that okay so explain me what will agentic ai change for me right it's typically a 5 minute exercise in order for you to build an agent and bring in your tools and start using it the good part what i am seeing with the uh, genai the customers who have moved to production is that once you fine tune your llm right there is nothing like something which is saying that after a fine tuning uh, llm for a pilot i can't use it the same llm is going to be useful for you even for production also so the pilots what you are doing or the poc is what you are doing are surely going to help you shorten your journey to production one thing is very interesting is you know getting the stakeholders on the table from the very beginning who are your stakeholders right when we talk about a project in a business you know the typical stakeholders are the business and technology right and operations as well because that's part of business We have two previous booths where we talk about the data ingestion and how the data can be stored in a structured format, the unstructured data. The second booth talk about uh, how the agents can be built up. Here we are just trying to explain how the uh, what what's the background around the agent, what is behind the cover. So uh, as we have seen that AI has evolved rapidly, right from you know machine learning to traditional AI now to agent AI, right? So the risk have been amplified as well. So when you talk about Gen AI, there is hallucination, drift, fairness, bias. Where you track these metrics. Similarly, with agentic AI, there are different tools, LLMs, prompts which we have to govern. So this is typically security uh, used with a security landscape, right? Uh-huh. With with a lens of security, you literally have all these things listed down there, right on the dashboard. You get to it. You know you are on top of it, and you are just there.